and we're live. It is a pool party. And what fitting weather we have today. Oh, and the breeze comes in right as we're introducing. This is just lovely. If you've done the previous towel doorway workouts, I have no idea what number it is, but it's out there. Somebody throw it in the comments which number workout this is. Of course, you'll have to excuse the outdoor sounds so that it's quite a lively Tuesday. Uh, you know how to set this thing up. However, I will go through it again as if it were your first time. You need a beach slash bath towel, and I'd recommend you don't choose your best one. Maybe one that's been sitting in reserve for a while. Uh, it seems like all of you have had some good luck. However, I did rip one of mine, <laughs> depending on the sharpness of your door edges, the strength of your towel. So go ahead and grab a towel that you don't mind perhaps potentially causing a little damage to. If you got one of those, that's great. This is a good one. And then we want to be in front of a doorway and we want to be on the side of it where we would pull it closed. So you see mine right here. It's opening into the building. I'm closing it towards me. And I'm going to put that towel up here and pull it towards me so that the pulling pressure helps close the door. It's not going against the door's natural closing pathway. You dig? So get your towel that you could dispose of, perhaps low chance, but a non-zero chance. And I want you to buy a doorway. It doesn't have to be the most sturdy doorway. We just have to be on the proper side of it. That is, we're facing the side that would pull closed. We would push it open and pull it closed. You dig? So go find that space. Bring your phone or your screen or whatever you're viewing towards that space. And we're keeping it super simple. I think we have six, six or eight moves that we're going to work today but we're doing it uh, with gratuitous volume, of course. And you are going to do the job of making sure it's precise. You're squeezing all the right stuff, and we'll talk about it as we go, as we always do. All right, so get that spot. Um, and the setup's a little funky with this one, a little more complicated setup than our usual quarantine workouts. So if you need help, just holler at me in the comments. We'll figure it out together. I have the short side of the towel. So I'm taking the corners and I'm going to start the same way I start my shoelace tie. So one is going to go through the other. I'll show it once more. The corners, like your shoelaces. Wa la 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 la. One's going in. Pull it. Start that shoe tie. Make sure it's tight because we need room for a second knot. There shouldn't be much left because, again, we've used the short side of the towel. All right, so give it tight so there's a little bit of slack, enough to do a second one, a second one of those knots. And if you got a real thick towel, it's going to be a challenge, but you're going to do it anyway. And that second one is just there for security. The first one will probably uh, do it for us. All right, so I've started the way I tie my shoes twice. You got that little baby knot at the end. It looks like lamb chop. What's up, motherfuckers? Ooh, hey! That's a whole separate video. We could get into that later. Anywho, I've doubled it. Make sure it's nice and tight. If you need help, hit me in the comments. This is what we end up with. Our little lamb chop situation with the length of the towel remaining. Now, watch the magic. Going over to my doorway. Once I get my focus back, I'm throwing it over top of the doorway. You dig? So the knot is on the other side. 
and then I'm closing that doorway to track the rest of the towel. Check it out. Over top. Make sure that knot gets trapped. Oh, Jeff, what's popping? Let me see if I can correct for this uh, this focus issue here while you're getting your towel set up. Are we good? Are you back? I think so. Oh yeah, how about that? Amazing. Ah. Yes, it is a pool party, Jeff. Welcome. You need your towel. You're going to put that regular uh, knot in it like we did. That was the two times to the shoe tie. Now we can see, now I have my focus back, like so. A little over half the length of the towel remains. I'll stagger onto the sunlight so you can see me. And here we have it. Perfect. Uh, we're going to stagger sets on this thing. So if you're with a partner, I know this whole setup is short to come by in the typical domicile, so we're going to be flip-flopping. Choose somebody to be person A, choose somebody to be person B, and I'll talk us through the switch swap as we move along. And I'll, of course, show both of the moves. I'm solo, so I'll be staggering my own sets. The first moves. One is going to be working the rear delts, just like we did the last towel doorway workout. We've done it on the wall. It's the Y. This is what the motion is right here. I'm grabbing the corners of the towel, and I'm up, and I'm back. And I'm sticking my chest out, like so. That's the move on the towel. Here it is. Thumbs up on that grip. Lean back, get a nice bundle. I have my feet as far forward as I want, of course. The further forward they are, the harder it's going to be, and I lift up with straight arms. And that's my Y. So if you're person A, you're on the towel there. If you're person B, you're on that wall that's nearby. And now we're making the A. We just made the Y. Yes, this is cheerleading class, if you didn't know. Now we're making the A. Arms are straight. Palms or fists are on the wall. You choose what's comfortable. Yes, it is a little tricep work but we should mostly feel the lat squeeze. So down and away and get the head out of the turtle shell. I have at least one of my own feet away from the wall, palms down and check me out. I'm shrugging to begin and then I drop the shoulder blades right here. And we're doing these little pulses. Very small range of motion. It's maybe this. You dig? If it's too heavy, step closer to the wall. We're beginning with four rounds. Four rounds of 25 of each. Going by the hundreds today. You dig? So let's begin. I'm going to start on the towel doing my Ys for 25. Follow along. If you're on the wall, you're going to pulse those A's for 25 reps. These should be light fast, flowy. If they get heavy on the wall, move closer to the wall. On the towel, move further away from the wall. Let's do it. First set of 25. And let us begin. One, two, three, four, five. Make sure it's light. Six. If it's too heavy, Seven, step further away from the wall. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, 
25. Very nice. Swap the moves. I'm on the wall for those lacked pulses. Think down and away. Down and away. Not just tricep extension, but dropping the shoulders and puffing the chest out. Person B just moved to the towel for the Ys. Beginning in three, two, go. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19. I'm discovering 18. I like the fists better. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, all of our chest out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, oh, oh. All right, it's going to be toasty. Round two, get your switch swap, 25 of each. Let's do it again. Puff that chest out with both of the exercises, all about shoulder blade. Retraction, getting them back. Let's get it. 25s. 25. 24. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, this is burning already. Those Ys are never easy. Get your slip swap. 25 in the next one. Make sure on the wall. Again, chest out. Chest out. If it's just the arm motion, we won't get as much. I'm moving a little closer to the wall because it was heavy for me. And in three, two, go. 25, 24, 23, 22, 20, 19. Let's get one. 19. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13. Work those back muscles. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Stick in the chest out. 4, 3, 2, and one. Wow. So much pressure in that shoulder joint. Quite nice. So swap. Round three begins. 25s again. This takes us to 75 total of each. But it ain't done until we're at 100. Fast and flowy. Begin. 25. 24. 23. 22. Reach up. 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, Five, I'm slowing down. Four, three, two, one. Those never get easy. <sighs> Who's here? Oh, thank you, Brittany. Oh, so stop. Moving to those A's. You know what to do? This way. And I'm enjoying more and more the back of the fist instead of the palm. So make your choice, whatever you dig. 25 and three, two, 
Let's go. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, feel the lats, 14, pushing down and back, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One more. Oh, Kiwi. We miss you. We'll see you later. Hopefully you're using that money towel. I don't see <laughs> Final set, getting us to 100. The Ys and the As. It looks like we have some music, courtesy of my neighbor, playing some EDM. Shall we? Fourth and final set of that warm-up. Begin. 25. 24. 23. 22. 21. 20, 19, reaching up high, 18, 17, a little control all the way down, all the way, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, it should burn, I definitely got it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, five, three, two, one. Mamma mia. Making the A's. Here we go. Like so. Final 25 of the warm up takes us to 100 or both. Begin. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, get that whole back off the wall, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, perfect. Got it. Take a sip if you'd like. We're going to move straight into some strength sets. Oh. oh, thank you. Yes, my favorite shorts because it is a pool party. You dig? Hopefully you're having some fun at home. I loved seeing, uh, <laughs> for those of you who celebrate Easter, I do not. However, it was very fun to see people uh, getting dressed up in their Sunday best and they have a little home church. <laughs> oh, suits and gowns and pretty fun. My point is we don't need to be going somewhere to have a little festivity, right? So, you're probably in your pajamas at home. Hopefully you have some fun pajamas. And if not, get crazy. Put something on. Put a tutu on. Damn it. Send me a picture. I'll post it. <sighs> Jeff, thank you. Love those. All right. We're moving straight to strength work. Hopefully your towel is sturdy. Uh, I have one request before we move on and that's you know what's behind you because this is where we might have a little bit of failure for me I'm expecting my grip to go out the best I can maybe you put some pillows down maybe you put some soft stuff down behind you uh, or you move a table out of the way so you don't crack your head on the corner or something just please be careful and act accordingly next move Super simple. You have the entire bundle in one hand. All right. 
I'm stepping into the door as close as I can handle. And it's going to be a one arm row. We did this last week or two weeks ago with the door work. Today we'll make it a little more interesting by gamifying slightly. I want you to get low enough to touch the floor. And then on the way back up, I want you to tap as high as you can on the door as possible. Tapping the ground, tapping way high up on the door. Hopefully that will encourage us to straighten the arm all the way and get the shoulder blade forward, full range of motion, tapping the ground, pulling back, reaching way up, retracting as far as possible. Okay. The move in between. We're going to time it. How about that? I'll see how long it takes me to do five per arm. Real simple. My partner the entire time is going to hold that A frame. So those same pulses we just did. But instead of the repetitions, we're holding it. As our partner gets five plus five on the towel. So let's time this first one so we can give the person on the wall their, their fair share of time. Five per arm. Of course, if it's too easy, you'll step further away. If it's, uh, sorry, if it's too difficult, you'll step further away. If you want more weight, you'll step closer. And if it's too difficult altogether, just scrap the floor to door touching and only do the rowing portion. It would look like this. Straight arm, pull. But if you want to have fun and do the extra, you'll tap down, you'll tap up. Shall we? Smooth, controlled, five per arm while your partner holds that A-frame. Begin. Five. As high up on the door as you can. Four. Just as expected, it took about 45 seconds. So I will set a 45 second timer now. And your partner's gonna get on the wall and do that hold for 45 seconds. Starting in five, four, three, two, let's go. On the A-frame, make sure there's some weight in your hands. Step the feet a little bit away from the wall so we get a little bit of rearward lean. Chest out, shoulders back. two. We're back to our five plus five on the door while your partner holds the A-frame on the wall. Start with whatever arm you want. Let's do it. Five. Four. Three. Switching. Five. Four. 
always lowering with control. Three. Two. One. Perfect. To the wall. In three, two, go. Holding. A frame. Yes, the triceps are working, but think about the lats. Think about the down and back. Right now, your partner's getting that five plus five on the towel. Nasty. If this is too easy, just walk further away from the wall. Oh, that's it. That's our 45. Grab a sit. Swap it again. Round three. Don't ask how many rounds we're doing. Begin. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Swap it. Other arm. Five. Reach way up on the door. Four. Three. Two. One. Good. Back on the wall. Let's hold that A frame. In three, two, begin. Push the shoulders down and back. Leaning into the wall. If it's too easy, walk forward. Stay calm, focus on the lats. one-legged, sorry, on our one arm reaching with the doorway. If we minimize the amount that we're twisting to reach, we're going to have a slightly better experience today. So you're going to see me this round. Try to stay square and just reach with the arm as opposed to reaching, twisting a bunch, grabbing the arm. All right? Do whatever works for you. Let's get it. Round four. Maybe less rotation, like I mentioned. Go. Five. Four. Three. Two. And switch. Let's go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Back on the wall, A frame, starting in five. Four. Three. Two. Begin. Oftentimes the hold is much harder than the motion. Because we really have nothing to distract us from the discomfort. Just get in the zone. 
push down and out. Uh. Relax. Round five. Five plus five on the towel. Minimize rotation. Reach as high as you can to the doorway. Begin. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Other side. Five's up. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Try not to rush. We like that time under tension. A frame. In three, two, go. Get out of the turtle shell. Lean into the heels. This can be palms or fists. I'm alternating between them. Choose what's right for you. Ten seconds. Oh. Why does this one suck? So much worse. Ah, relax. How about it? Round six. Round six on the towel. Oh, Jeff, I feel you. Round six, five and five, A frame hold in three, two, begin the pain. Begin the development. Those good old quarantine gains, nothing like them. Switch, five the other side. Uh. Excellent. A frame starts in five, four. Three, two, begin. I'm maybe one and a half of my own feet away from the wall with the stance. It does not take much. Keep the elbows straight. Don't let the shoulder blades roll forward. Keep them back and the chest out. That's really going to isolate what we want to isolate. Chest out, shoulder back. Yeah. Relax. Relax. Round seven. Five plus five. On that towel. Let us begin now. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Swap it. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Ah. <sighs> Round seven on the A frame. Shall we? <laughs> Let's get it. Three, two, begin. Sweat filling up my glasses from the inside. But that's what we're looking for, right? That's what we came to do. So embrace it. Ooh. Oh, my lats! Help! Relax. 45. Well, I say we made it to seven rounds. It's close enough to 10. We might as well. You with me? Let's go. Round eight, five plus five. Your partner's on the wall. Begin. Five. Four. Three, two, one, switch, five, four, three, two, one. On the wall in three, two, go. A frame. Do it. Two more rounds after this, so hang in there. <sighs> These holds are killer. Relax. 45. Here goes round nine. Second to last round. Let's do it. Stay with me. Stay strong. You know what you came here for. Let's do it then. Let's get stronger. Let's not let this quarantine get in the way of any more than it has to. Five on the other side. Second to last time on the hold. Let the A frame begin. Hold. Let the A frame begin. And three, one. Whew. Three. Lat squeeze. Shoulder blades back and down, chest out, all the tricks. You know how to get it done.
There's the time. Tenth and final. This is going to bring us to 50 reps per arm. 450 seconds in that A-frame hold. <sighs> Let's get it done. Make the last one the most technical, the calmest, the most careful. Begin. Round 10. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Switch. Get him. Five. Final A-frame hold if you're the B person, or if you're solo. Shall we? Go. Last one of these. Embrace it. You know how difficult this was. It must lead to something if we feel this much challenge. So get into it. Let's work. Chest out. Take a half step forward. Join me. Push, shoulders back. Hang in there. Like a statue. Relax. There's a 10 rounds. Setting up for a hit to finish. Very work. Oh. <sighs> Serious. Well done there. I'm taking a sip. You can join me. Yeah, I feel you, Jeff. The grip is what failed the most. I'll show you the two moves. Not going to be fun. Of course it'll be fun. Come on. We love the brutality, don't we? These will be 30-second uh, intervals, like our typical hit. We need to crack it. Take a moment here. Get your heart rate down. Relax. Bust out the timer. How about seven more minutes? Can you stick with me for seven? All right, seven it is. Timer's ready. 30-30. We will have no extra transition time. So if you're with your partner, when you hear that bell, and when I say swap, just do it immediately. If you're solo, do it immediately. We are back to basics. Now we have two hands on the towel, and we're rowing with that big full range of motion. You want to grip the edges, the sides, and then take a little bundle. Stepping close to the doorway, letting the shoulders go. Let's get that extra scapular row happening. So look at the shoulders, they roll forward. And the initial part of the way up is the retraction. So you can think of it in the four pieces like we do in the gym. The arms go straight, the shoulder blades roll, and then put it in reverse. Shoulder blades squeeze, arms do the work. During the hit, it's going to be fast. I want you to see how many reps you can get in the 30 seconds. Notice I'm planking at the hip. I'm flat. I'm flat here. I'm trying not to break at the hip at all. We do not want to break at the hip. 
stay flat. That'll be move A. Move B, we're on the wall wise. Very similar to the wise we did with the towel, but now the backs of the hands are on the wall. I would start with one of your own feet away from the wall. Knuckles go up, hips go off, and we're pulsing. Little baby taps with the shoulders. Again, this is the movement. Arms are close to straight, definitely not here. Make sense? So we're gonna get seven times 30 seconds on each of those. I'll have the timer ready. Shall we? Seven minutes to freedom. No extra tricks, no extra holds. So let's pack it in here, finish the pool party strong. In three, two, 10 second countdown begins. And go. Fast and consistent. And three. Two, one. Swap it out to the other move. I just did the towel, now I'm on the wise. Consistency will be key through this. Try not to slow down too much. It's better to choose a slower speed to begin. That's it, 30 seconds. Swap it out. Other side, go. Better to choose a slower speed that we can sustain than to go too fast at the beginning and burn out early. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Swap it. Begin the other move. Go. There's a dirty, swap it out. Go fast. Get the arms all the way straight at the end of the rows. Ten seconds. Three, two, swap it. Begin right away, that B move. Reach high. That's it, swap it out. Begin. Ten seconds. Swap it. Other move, go, right away. We're getting close to the finish line. Keep doing your thing. Feeling it today. Woo! Keep building. Swap. 
begin. Put a little aggression into it as we finish. Keep the speed. Three, two, swap it out right away. Swap it out. Second to last round. This is number six. Go. Switch. Finishing round six, that means there's one round left after this. And we win, big. Ah, swap it, final round. Squeeze the last drip of benefit out. It's your last time on this move, so push. 10 seconds. Give me turbo. Ooh. Swap, and as a treat, if you're solo, stay on the towel. If you're with a partner, you're going to swap. Let's do the last 30 seconds. If you're solo, stay on that towel. Ten seconds left. Turbo. Turbo speed to the finish. Just like that. Go ahead and take that towel down. Huh. Huh. Wipe yourself off. That was superb. Yeah, yeah, Nassim, I am with you for sure. Uh, was it the whys that got you? Delts are wrecked. Um, oh. Did anybody's towel rip? Said that. Oh, the why? <laughs> yeah, in the grip. You know if you're from the gym. Nassim, Jeff, whoever's in here, who comes to the gym. You know. We love all the weird grip implements, and the towel is for sure one of these. When you grip that thin fabric, and it kind of like rotates your fingertips and gets all cranked. Uh, it's, it's different. It is not a barbell. It is not a dumbbell. This is some other shit, like we talked about yesterday quite a bit. Uh, we're doing what we can to make this opportunity uh, to work some specialized moves that we haven't worked so much in the gym, to utilize some tools like we've never utilized them. And one of those things for sure is the towel grip. So strength upgrades, tolerance upgrades, 
in the finger joints for sure. Jeff, you almost got the towel rip. <laughs> was it right on the edge? Was it like right on a, a border or was it in the middle? Nice, Brittany, well done. You got it in. That was killer. Good shit. Oh, right at the door. Okay. Right at the door. Okay. Yeah, I think um, what I discovered that first workout was we need to somehow put tension in the whole width of the towel at the same time. Uh, so let's say I've got this wide thing and the towel edges are right there and I'm pulling one side more than the other, or when I take the bundle, I feel the fibers on one edge stretching more than any other spot. Uh, you'll be able to feel it. So what I did today was look for that feeling. And if one side was getting tighter than the other, I just pulled up on the other. And if it was that one bundle grip on the single arm stuff, um, I looked up at the door which corner is the one that's getting more pull. And I just leaned to the other side. These are uh, home towel tricks. We'll keep using this. This is all new stuff, right? Uh, you know, we've talked about like what type of chair to use. Can you use the office chair versus a folding chair versus a sofa? Uh, what's good for the knees? Is it a pillow? Is it a towel bundled up? All these little home tricks, these little MacGyver tricks. We'll figure that shit out, but for sure expect some, uh, collateral damage <laughs> like Jeff's towel <laughs> so I apologize sir we have a couple extras at the gym if you want to come open and grab one please be my guest other than that that was killer pull day I appreciate it thanks for sticking with me tomorrow who knows what we're gonna do I haven't thought about it yet Jeff shoot me some ideas he's always got a uh, amazing twisted exercise ideas I love it other than that, enjoy the day. Enjoy your back strength. Nassim said she already feels a posture improvement. So if you're going to do any computer work like I'm about to do for the rest of the day, uh, or not, maybe you're about to sit down and play PS4 or watch Tiger King, feel the tension in your back. Sit a little bit taller. Keep the chin up. Avoid this tech neck time. And you're winning for sure. Keep adding these pull workouts. Love you guys a ton. Thanks for everything. Have a beautiful day. See you next time on Quarantine Workouts. Oh, yeah.